All right, the next problem part of this is our problem solving. So what kind of work could we create that would help show our thinking of how we process the problem? So show me what you did, okay? So what I did was I did mine on a piece of paper. So I'm gonna make the picture of me a little bit bigger. I did mine on a piece of paper right here, okay? All of my work, okay? So it's similar to what we did in the model, but all my work is actually written down. But now we need to get this piece of paper into our Google Slides. So I showed my 60 divided by five, I showed my 12 times six, all of the steps that we did in that first part, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my phone and I'm going to take a picture of this work, okay? Now, once I take this picture of my work, I have it on my phone. What I'm gonna do is I am going to email it to myself. So I'm going to go to my email and write a new email and send it to my school email, to myself, okay? So you're gonna use the attach button and you are going to attach it to your email. It might be sideways, it might be crooked, that's okay. Once you attach it to your email and you send it, Okay, mine says it's sent, so I'm gonna go check my email. You may have to refresh your page in order to get it. Okay, and look at it, it's right there. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I am going to right click and I'm going to click save image as. Once I save my image as, this pop-up is going to come up. Move that out of the way, okay. And you can title it whatever you want. So I'm gonna title, title it FRQ picture so that I can find it, okay? And I'm going to save it to my computer. Now I'm gonna go back to my slides here, and this is where we wanna attach it, is right here in this box, okay? I'm gonna make myself smaller again. So I'm gonna go to add an image, insert an image. We're gonna upload it from our computer because we just saved it there. And it was saved to my desktop. Okay, and I called it my FRQ picture. So it's right here, and I'm gonna click open. Okay, mine is sideways. Okay, what you can do, ah, what I can do is I'm gonna shrink my picture first. So I'm gonna bring in the corners and move it down. This dot at the top right here, okay, you see this blue dot? I can take it and I can spin my picture. So when I do this, I spun my picture and now it's facing the right way. And all this is, is this is all of my work, okay? And then over here, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna type my explanation, okay? So why, why did you do the steps that you did in there? So just like we explained in the first one, I did 60 divided by 12 because, or 60 divided by five, sorry because I had five equal spaces left over. That I needed to know. And that came from the representation part that we drew. So you kind of have to do these in order, okay? Um, we did 12, I did 12 times six. because I wanted to know what that whole section was worth. And you're going to continue explaining why you did each one of these parts. So similar to what you guys heard me explain when I did the representation, you guys heard me say it, but now we're actually gonna type out those words. And if you guys need to, you are by all means welcome to change the font size on here. So I would probably change it down to like 12 so that I have room to type. Okay, but you're gonna add your picture right here so that you have your representation there. 